Hey guys, I'm Larko Doom, and welcome back to Doom Zero. This is map 27, called The Junction. And we are going to get 100% kills, items, and secrets from a pistol star. Um, and yeah, in this map, we are surrounded by a lot of doors. A lot of them requiring keys, and a lot of them that are locked for now. You can see the arrows on the floor that will direct us which door to go through, which is this one. And we get three large buildings. Um, two that are obviously the blue and the red doors, and then this one is the yellow door right here. Over here we got all coloured uh, bars, so we can't trespass through here. So the only way we can go is up these steps for now. And up these steps we can grab the shotgun, and we can get the chainsaw. And over here we have a lot of items, a supercharge, and uh, a mega armor, a berserk pack, and then all three keys. And we have the option to choose, just like in previous maps of Doom Zero, which key we want to go with first. Uh, we can see the different weapons, the plasma gun there in the yellow key area, the super shotgun in the red key area, and the rocket launcher. So it's up to you which one you want first, really. Um, all three are heavily guarded, so it doesn't really matter too much what one you go for. For this first one, I think I'm going to go for... Let's just go for the Super Shotgun, why not? Super Shotgun's always the nice one to have, the nice weapon. And we can go back up the steps this way, grab ourselves a chain gun, and hop back down. And we have to go through here, and now we can go through the red door. Alright, over here we have a secret area, but we will save this, uh, these light visor goggles, because there is a dark section uh, later on in the map, so that's what that will be useful for. But for now we get this grotesque room, loads of uh, intestine, intestines and blood and all that sort of stuff, but we're going to forget, uh, we're going to ignore it for now, there's a lot of barons in that corner, we don't have the ammunition yet. So what we are going to do is sneak past, there's some mancubi, some alpha souls, we're just going to sneak past, grab ourselves the super shotgun, and now we can grab the berserk pack, the mega armor, and the supercharge, and also the two other keys. So we got all keys now, and we can go to the other, the blue door, and the yellow door. The areas. So let's just go for the yellow. So yeah, it's pretty nifty. We can look. This will open up. There's a lot of enemies, just like in uh, the Echo Halls map six. There are a lot of enemies, but we can just sneak past them. We don't have to wake anything up and fight anything. Not until we get these weapons, at least. And that's our goal: to grab all these uh, weapons, and then we can kill everything. So we'll go for the blue door now hop down and there are a lot more enemies but we're just again gonna sneak past and go over here and grab the rocket launcher so we got all the weapons now so we can if we want to just head back and let's uh, complete this section so we got two rockets there so we'll just shoot a few and then use the plasma but there's a lot of uh, gunners to the left of us, as we know, so we're just going to be careful and evade their, their bullets. Yeah, and we can use the good old super shotgun to kill everything else. And then once the the big guys are out of the way, like these hell knights, we can actually run into the room. Try and kill the chain gunners. Alright, there we go. It's alright if you lose uh, a little bit of health, because you can always uh, get it back in this map. We've got some spare armor there, and we can get these energy cells. And then over here, we have a switch. And we need to press three switches in these areas. So that's why we have to fight everything, because um, all the monsters are guarding a switch. So we'll head back to the main hub area, and we will go through here now. 
and now we kill everything. Now there is a um, an arch file here, so we've got to be careful. We want to ease our main priority, the arch file. We want there he is. Try and get him first. Yes, he's come straight to the door. The good thing about arch files is they are pretty fast, faster than most monsters, so they will come for you quicker than the rest, and that's a good thing if we want them dead. All right, and then most of the other enemies just kind of took each, <laughs> took themselves out, pretty much. And then we can press the switch, nice and simple. And then we got one more switch to do, and that's in the uh, this red key area. And this one's a pretty tough area, to be fair, probably the toughest. Um, we want to just ignore everything for now. Let's collect some ammo. Let's head to the stairs and then let's shoot these alpha souls and then we'll kill the monkey bite. And then the other guys haven't woke up, that's great, but they will once we kill these uh, spectres. Get these guys out the way because they block rockets, like that sneaky guy I tried to was there. But um. We can use plasma and rockets for these barons. Pretty simple. We've got plenty of it, so let's go and use them. We can even try and get the Arachnatron to maybe in fight one if we want to. Doesn't seem up for it like. He knows he'll probably die to a baron. Double kill. Oh, there we go, he is in fighting. I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs> Whoever wins dies, so. Oh, we actually. <laughs> well, I am sorry for uh, underestimating you, Mr. Arachnatron. He actually won. We'll press that final switch. And, uh, yeah, that's all switches. All these coloured bars over here on the left, we can open all them. And then there was also three switch bars which we have to all press and then we have access to this BFG and then we got these three uh, doors which are unlocked now so we'll head through the first one and yes just like an echo holes the area will light up and there's a lot of enemies what we can do is press this sneaky switch grab a backpack secret backpack and we are going to ignore these lost souls if we fire all the enemies will wake up we want to completely ignore them and press this switch over here and that's going to crush all of the enemies and we get a lovely lovely sound right there <laughs> very satisfying and yeah now we can go over it and kill these arachnatrons but we've got to be careful there are revenants that will wake up in this corner as well they won't get crushed so we'll have to take care of them that was a nasty missile hit but we got rid of all them and now also this texture is different and we can walk right through this for a secret area and we got quite a we got a puzzle here we got a plasma gun over there a mega armor and a rocket launcher now in all honesty I don't know how this puzzle works you got um, you gotta go over these teleport pads and some will teleport you back to this box but others you can stand on like this and I don't know too many routes on this um, it's a bit of trial and error so this one I just walk through and get a rocket launcher but if you're desperate for the mega armor and the plasma gun then I don't know try other techniques maybe this seems like one no nope. this just There we go, that's another one. That will uh, give you, I don't know, a Mega Armor or a Plasma Gun. Just try them out and you'll get whatever you want, but they're all tagged. Um, it's all at the same secret, so don't worry too much about not grabbing the other stuff. We'll head back to where the Revenants came from and we'll press the switch to open some doors. That will block on that switch. And that's why we didn't go to that, to that area first, because that required that uh, skull switch to be pressed in this area and now we'll go to this area now before we press the switch and go down the lift we're gonna go back and grab that secret uh, light visor goggles 
we're going to switch to the BFG and look it's all beautifully lit up we're going to wake up all the lost souls and head back and once we're all grouped up we can use the BFG on them there we go get rid of the horrible infestation of souls around here and yeah without those light goggles that are picked up this would be in complete darkness other than the um, decorations there like that shush kebab of skulls they actually uh, light up as well as the torches so we got little rings of light but other than that it's complete darkness even on high visibility settings over here is a secret mega armor. It doesn't seem like a secret, but it is. But that would be in darkness as well, that path. And we can also head around here. And we get this little area with all this ammo. Again, these would be covered in darkness and difficult to see, but they just seem dead easy to find. And that's why we saved those light goggles. We'll kill the two alpha souls, we'll head to the right, and we get another secret berserk pack and some rockets. We'll carry on, we'll kill these two arachnatrons. Head round, kill the spectres. Which will, would also be a nuisance in this dark area as well. Because you might not be able to see them, we'll, and we'll press the, uh, the gargoyle switch. And now we can head back. Before we head back there is one more secret around here. We'll go this way. Kill these lost souls. And we get a supercharge. Secret supercharge. And yeah, there we go. You see how the light's uh, fading away? Now it's just complete darkness. So yeah, those secrets can be tricky to grab. But we managed to escape just in time. And we've got one more section to go, which is this one. There is Baron in the corner. We'll push... Oh, <laughs> he's in this corner. Well, that was a waste of some cells, which I kind of needed because he'll get resurrected now, probably. There's going to be four arch vials in this area once we go over here and press this skull switch, which will open the door there. There we go, see? Got resurrected again. He'll have to die again. I and he got resurrected again. Kill a baron for the fourth time. Oh, I'm getting flamed through walls. Oh no, do not, do not resurrect them. There we go, good, come over here. And die. Is that all? I'm sure there was four arch trials. maybe there's only three. Or did I kill one in here? Yeah, I did. And this is actually a secret where the arch trials came on, you uh, came, on, came from. You can walk through the wall and there's some rockets and some spare armor. But that's that area done. And, um... Now we can step through this door, these rocky ledges will raise, and here's the exit. But we've got one more secret, you can see a backpack there and you're like, hmm, how do I get this backpack? Well, all you have to do is just walk straight for the bars, and you get some spare rockets as well. And that should be all, I all kills, yep, all items and all secrets, there we go. We take this futuristic looking teleport, teleporting area to uh, to map 28. So that was the junction. Um, a fairly like a uh, puzzle type, like puzzle type slash art map, I'm going to say. But um, yeah, it's really cool, especially playing through this the first, uh, for first time players. You might panic and start killing all those enemies, but you can just walk past them and collect all the big weapons. And, uh, yeah, and then fight them off once you have all the ammo and such. And, uh, yeah, each area is just like a, um, a puzzle area, basically. So we've got uh, some, a lot of areas, well, a lot of enemies, garden switches. And then you got those, that darkness area, which I don't like. But we get a secret uh, light goggles, so that's nice. And once you have that, the area becomes very easy to do. But it's fun, it's quite challenging too, um, but if you did it the way I did it, it's not too bad. Um, you should be well equipped if you know where the traps are and where the weapons are. And yeah, there's eight secrets in this map, so a lot of secrets to find. Just like in the next map, I think there's also eight secrets. And this map is called Suspension, and this is quite a big one, map 28. Um, 
yeah, we've we've teleported now into some futuristic like space, and uh, yeah, we'll have to explore that next time. But three more maps to go. Very exciting. Near the end of Doom Zero now. But that's all from me. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, everyone.